Here in Kurdistan, like other countries where FGM is practiced, female circumcision, known as katana, is not spoken of openly. The day I circumcised, they said I should open my leg, and I did what they said. My mother told me this is my passage to womanhood. They say if you refuse to lie down, we will force you to lie down. My dad bring some rope and tight me and hold me very strong. Every 10 seconds, a girl is mutilated. <laughs> I could feel the blade cutting. <laughs> Mostly the genitals are cut off without pain relief. I really thought I was going to die. <laughs> They say it's tradition. Which type of tradition? we need influential religious leaders to make that clear to people that this is not a religious application. In my community, FGM is practiced as a religious requirement. As a campaigner, they believe that you are just introducing Western churches. For me to convince them, I had to now bring in people who are highly respected. Grassroots activists travel far and wide, searching out key religious and community leaders to persuade them to join the cause. I know for sure, if religious leaders can stand up with us, this thing will be a history. But it's a daunting task trying to persuade powerful men of faith. We are on our way to meet Imam Fatih and um, he's like the most influential Imam in the country. You are fighting female circumcision and say that it's not Islamic. Hurting people, torturing people, it's not right in Islam. Most leaders change their minds when confronted with the realities of FGM, which is why our training academies always start with a medical presentation. Female genital mutilation. The pictures were so horrible, I did not to show This is what I see every day. Persuading their community is a good start. Are you with me? Yes, Everything helps, from the smallest congregation to the might of the national media, which we have found reaps the most spectacular results. National sur les conséquences médicales des mutilations génitales féminines. In Mali, the FGM taboo was broken when religious leaders spoke out on television for the first time. La déclaration d'un imam à la première chaîne du Mali dit que l'excision n'est pas une obligation religieuse musulmane. Ça, c'est une grande satisfaction. The power of the media cannot be underestimated. Muslim leaders have delinked the Islamic religion from female genital mutilation, saying the act is sinful. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. Following an intense media campaign in Tana River, Kenya, 
Our impact study showed that people's attitudes towards and acceptance of the worst form of FGM have fallen from 89% to 5% in just three years. The activists are going from strength to strength. Working with over 300 religious leaders, they've created hundreds of hours of anti-FGM content. The task now is to recruit more influencers who will enforce the urgent abandonment of FGM. Decision n'a rien à voir avec la religion. Absolument pas. Même bout hadith à doigt. Je profite de votre antenne pour rappeler tous les leaders religieux et bien à nous mettre ensemble pour que cette pratique répréhensible soit complètement éradiquée. Yeah.